This is Abraham Lincoln. Yay! Sad I am to see the Republicans of your day openly expressing their contempt for their fellow Americans and calling them weaklings. I recommend you do what I did with those southern traitors, i.e. whoop their rebel butts, humiliate, destroy them. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from a sellout show at the Copacabana, or so he claims, Austin's barely tolerated Perry Logan! Boy, am I glad to be able to let my hair down in front of a bunch of rich guys like you. You know, I'm so glad nobody's taping this. Hi. In case you just tuned in, this is Mitt Romney. Trust me, this is Mitt Romney. I can prove it. Here, I'll flip for you. Watch. See? Hey, nobody but Rip Romney uh, flips like that. And uh, hey, guys, now that it's just us chickens, just me, Mitt Romney, talking to a few of my pals, some rich guys, and you know, we've had a few. And basking in the security that no one could possibly be recording this. <laughs> How could that be, right? How could that be? <laughs> Was that Perry Logan's inner madman back Hi, there? this is Mitt Romney. You know it's Mitt. You know I'm Mitt Romney. Uh, because first of all, I'm relaxed and letting my hair down and saying what I really think. And secondly, who but Dog on the Roof Romney could do this? <laughs> Did I scare you? I perceive there's not a dry seat in the house. I must have scared you. That was not Mitt Romney. Hi, this is the real Mitt Romney. And I'm letting my hair down since it's just us rich guys. I wanted to talk about how I feel about the miserable 47% of the population of this great country which is rotting it from the inside like a bunch of filthy parasites, liars, rapers, cheats. People depended on government. <laughs> Weaklings, my friends. Hey, I'm so glad I can tell you guys. <laughs> I can... <laughs> hey. I'm so glad I can talk to you guys and really kind of talk about how I really feel out in the political arena. I've just got to spout all this right-wing BS. I got to keep those damn tea partiers happy. I am so sick of those tea party idiots!
and, and I'm not mad that Obama stole Romney care. Oh. That doesn't bother me. That little Democratic bastard fairly ripped the title page off of Romney Care and called it Obama Care. What a plagiarist! Obama, you bloody plagiarist! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Didn't know I could play the brush, did ya? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, really, I am so glad that I can let my hair down and I'll let you guys know how I feel. But it really is true, you know. 47% of the population are dependent on government. They don't pay taxes. They're like maggots in the flesh of America. They make me want to be... Oh. I am so glad that this isn't being recorded. Hey. This is a nightmare version of a real thing. Stop looking at me that way. It's September 20th, 2012. You're a victim of satire. You're a victim of both political parties and a victim of satire. That's why I'm pointing at this. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I forgot. Republicans don't like rock and roll. <laughs> Behind this facade is a real event. A real tape came out. Back there in reality, I've almost forgotten it too. But back there in reality, the real Mitt Romney, you know, the guy with the strapping the dog on the roof and the tax forms. That we've got to see. Mitt, we've got to see those tax forms. Mitt, we're just like dying of curiosity. We're burning up in here, Mitt. Ah! Burned up? Oh, yeah! You will forgive me if I make reference to that dim and distant memory we call reality. But uh, uh, there's a big flap going on out there. Everyone uh, is all abuzz, back in reality, uh, about a, a tape that Mint made. I uh, didn't know, I guess he didn't think it was being recorded, you know. Okay, Mint was making a tape. And what he, he really kind of let his hair down. Why not? He was talking to some rich guys. And uh, actually what happened is he said what all conservatives believe. <laughs> oh, come on. The truth is, well, Mitt kind of said 47% of the U.S. population were freeloaders. <laughs> uh, lucky thing he has small feet and delicate toes. But he, he stuck it in his mouth, so to speak. Uh, but th there's an irony. Is it not ironic? Yes, it is. Is it not ironic? Yes, it is. That what Mitt Romney said uh, back to the other rich guys about the 47% of us being uh, moochers. Who's saying? <laughs> that's what the right believe. And that's why he was saying it to those other folks. They agreed with it. And, you know... It, the reaction has been very weird, and it's been condemned and, on all sides. And you know, the, the right are not too crazy about this tape coming out. They're like, kind of caught with their little panties down. Is it okay to use the word panties in reference to Republican? But they are kind of caught with their panties down. The Republicans, well, certainly Mitt was. But you see, the, the irony I'm pointing out here to you, rich guys. <laughs> is that that's what all conservatives in the U.S. believe. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Somebody here, uh, give me a break. Oh, are we rolling, Bob? Yes. All conservatives believe that because, well, they tell you this. I, Perry Logan, among other things, whatever you say, I am a, an outspoken lefty. 
you know, friendly. Friendly. I don't hurt them. No, Perry doesn't want to hurt them. Too much. Well, no, I, I just gonna wander around and, and uh, do my thing, and then you say your opinion. And uh, the folks on the right are always there to explain to you it's because you're a freeloader. You're a godless heathen. And, and other things. They like to kind of, may I say, brag and boast about their hatred of the left. <laughs> okay. Well, that's part of what Mitt was doing. Back at the, uh, in that secret tape. We now return you to the secret tape where Mitt Romney is letting down his hair. Yeah. But it's really true. 47% of our fellow citizens are worthless, non tax paying scum, and I'm not talking about us. But I'm talking about the miserable lower classes, okay? Can we... Just, we're all rich guys here, right? Right! 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 Hello, Shammy! Hello, Shammy! Hello, Shammy! What was I talking about? I'm talking about the liberals. There's at least 47% of Americans that we must call liberal. That's the poor, like the, the veterans, and the, the, the people who are liberal, the people who want the government to help them. What the hell's going on? They must, they must be eliminated. Social security must be privatized. Right, right. Social security must be privatized. The safety net must be gutted. Neocons rule. Neocons forever. Obama, you're not supposed to be saying that stuff. Keep it quiet. Oh, I forgot. The Republicans tell you how they're going to screw you, and the Democrats lie about it. Right, Perry? Right, Obama. Now back to me. I just wanted to emphasize how glad I am that none of this is being recorded. Because uh, the point is that what I'm saying to you guys is what all conservatives in the U.S. believe. I think, uh, of all people, Perry Logan, who is just a crazy guy, I think we can all agree, uh, uh, Perry Logan is right. Uh, as he, he points out that the uh, conservatives have been waging a successful class war against uh, their fellow Americans for, wow, at least since Ronald Reagan. Come on, man. We make no secret of our hatred and contempt for our fellow Americans. In the real tape, back in reality, I, Mitt Romney, said it's not my job to care about those people. <laughs> uh, this fulfills Perry Logan's almost prophetic statement that Mitt Romney is the worst candidate in the world, <laughs> partly through ineptness, partly because these tapes come up where Mitt lets down his hair. <laughs> and the left are all kidding aside in a state of jubilation. Uh, this, the left think that the whole thing's in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ah, okay, but... But Perry can't help but notice one thing. The same people who think Obama has the election in the bag are the people who thought Obama would be a great president. Logan's inner demon, I would know it anywhere. 
Oh, but you don't need uh, secret tapes. Uh, this is not being taped, but uh, it stands to reason that right-wingers would say what they really think about their fellow Americans, i.e. contempt, hatred, and contempt. Uh, but, you know, to tell you the truth, uh, Mitt spoke for the right, did he not? Yes. Mitt spoke for the right. He really was at his most uh, purely conservative. Like he was like suddenly the real mouthpiece of of conservatism, uh, talking to uh, rich people. That's that's the conservatives stand for the rich, and they say as much. But like I say, you don't need a secret tape <laughs> uh, to know that the, they'll say this openly. They will tell you. This is something amazing about politics in America in this state is that the right will just like kind of like wear their hatred of the left like a badge. <laughs> hey, who gave us hate radio? Was that the left or the right? <laughs> it was the right. <laughs> <laughs> who gave us witch hunts? Not the real witch hunts of the 17th century, but political witch hunts. Who gave us? Who gives us? Who gave us McCarthyism? The right. <laughs> I said the right. They gave us these things. This is the right openly going after the left. And I don't think it's symmetrical like witch hunt city. They invented it, okay? Okay. I'll give you another one. Who gave us swift boating? Was it the right or the left? I'll let you think about that. Who gave us... Raven politics? I said, who gave us... Raven politics? Yes, it was Karl Rove. Right. Rovian politics, think about it. Rovian politics has become synonymous with dirty politics. It's become a word. It's taken from Karl Rove's name and it become a word in the political circles. Swift boating, look at that. Swift boating comes from a smear campaign against John Kerry. I remember it well. It was a group called Swift Boat Veterans for Truth. And now swift boating, taken from that group, has become a verb, right? Swift boating. You can swift boat someone. It's become a verb. <laughs> well, and you know, it came from the right. That's my point. <laughs> Now, where were we?
Janie. Why are you cowering like a wee tiny timorous beastie instead of standing up straight like a man with a spine? Whoa, Janie, are you channeling your mom? Uh, Janie, I was a little worried about uh, uh, one of my predictions being in peril. One of your predictions being in peril? I have made a prediction and I am standing by it. I'm not giving it up. I'm just admitting it. It is in peril. How's, is this exciting? It's like intrigue. It's like living politics. Perry Logan in the act of, of making a fool of himself and kind of like doubling down. Well, what's going on is uh, that really and truly a tape I guess it just Mitt didn't think this could possibly be taped. And uh, the Mitster, dog on the roof, the worst campaigner ever, well, as if it weren't bad enough for Mitt, a, f a big tape came out, a tape of Mitt letting down his hair. We saw this earlier, don't you remember? Or was that a past live? It was a real tape in which Mitt let down his hair because he was talking to some rich guys and didn't think it was being taped. Uh, and uh, now the left is in a state of jubilance. It's just, you know, I do not begrudge my fellow lefties their state of jubilance. Uh, uh, that Mitt is, he kind of let down his hair and in an added irony, which I myself enjoy, I feel that what Mitt was saying to those guys in his big tape where he talked about the 47%. It's the tape where Mitt, it, talking to some rich guys, so it talked about how 47% of Americans are like basically leeches. <laughs> <laughs> and the left have jumped on this, the Obama camp have jumped on this, and here again I have no problem. I mean, of course they did. <laughs> But I do think that, the, that I, I do savor the added irony is that uh, Mitt was really talking to conservative trash there. That's the way conservatives talk. And you, you don't really need a secret tape uh, you, or, or recording of it. Uh, they, they will tell you, they tell you this does not, you know, I love Rush Limbaugh. And I never visualize him naked. Ew. No one should, no, you, you, no, stop, stop, stop. Some of you are visualizing Rush Limbaugh naked. And I cannot emphasize too strongly that this will cause Rush to appear in your brain doing a sexy hoochie coo. Oh. This is Rush Limbaugh doing a sexy hoochie coo. Oh, Perry. Oh, Perry. Take it, Sarah. This is Sarah Pound. Good as a tail, thank you for Perry. Uh, 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 uh. We run wakers are so very sexy. Oh no, it's Ann Coulter. She's got a gun. Hey, let's knock off this being nice to Perry Logan and doing a sexy UG coup for him, even though I admit he's quite a hunk for a skinny white guy. But I must insist we get back to the show. Oh yeah, well, I sort of predicted that I thought for various reasons, this presidential election would be close enough for the Republicans to steal. Close enough for the Republicans to steal? Those bastards! Oh, uh, let's just watch our language, Jenny, but uh, yeah, they're bastards. And they are showing every sign of intending to try to steal it. And it was, in all honesty, a prediction of mine. Like I say, it's, it's not smart to make a prediction if, uh, like, I don't know if you're running for political office, right? But since I'm not selling anything, uh, I, it's just part of the fun of politics, right? Part of the fun of it is making predictions and being made a fool of later. And then you can, <laughs> and then you can explain why you were right all along. And I intend to do so. But nevertheless, I'm coming clean and sticking to it. I think, you know, just all kidding aside, this, uh, the Republicans aim to steal this election, and it is still, well, most, uh, most folks I'm hanging with are, are in a state of jubilation. Yes! yes.
I love that guy. Well, but the truth is, uh, most would say my prediction is in peril. Oh. Would it be okay for me to say I feel there's a thumb on the scales with some of those poles? Why not? Why not? I've already made a fool of myself once. Ah, but what if I'm right? What if they steal it? Gonna be interesting. So, I'm not really putting my reputation on the line or anything like that. I'm just a guy making a prediction, you know. It just looked to me like, oh, listen, voter suppression. Yeah, ID, voter IDs, it's like state after state is passing laws specifically designed to make it hard for poor people, people of color. That's a whole lot of good people to vote because they don't have idea, IDs. And uh, Republicans uh, on a nationwide level are very cynically doing this. They should be ashamed, but they're not. Well, Perry, we should be, but we're not. We Republicans have long known that the fewer people who vote the better we do. I'm glad you're not recording this, Perry. Perry? You're not recording this, are you? You're not gonna put this into your weird show, are you?